all right yo guys so I've got a really crazy fucking video for you guys today so I just came from my least favorite coffee place uh, and why it's my least favorite is simply because every time I go there there's like a 50-50 chance I'm gonna walk out uh, either uh, after being too stressed or just uh, just because it takes way too long for me to actually get to the point you know where I'm gonna be able to make an order right which made me realize something you know so you probably have heard about the simulation theory that uh, the whole world we see around us, what we hear and everything, it's just a controlled uh, hallucination, you know. Everything's, uh, we are our brains and everything we feel and see is in our heads, in our brains, essentially. So you, you can't say, you can actually take it in a way that everything is a, simulation right and and some someone so i saw a video where someone was talking about another theory that connects to this right it goes that uh, uh, like why don't you ever see your your uh, neighbors come home with uh, grocery bags right you never do up until or, or like unless or up until the point when you interact with them in some way you know so unless you interact with those they're kind of like NPCs and you know, like background noise or something some something to fill the void or something but as soon as you interact with them your neighbors right then you they're like a part of your simulation or something they become a part of your life story and then uh, you start seeing them coming home with grocery bags it's weird and fucked up right so back to the coffee place it's like I don't know it's so difficult to explain what's what's weird about it it's, they have this um, thing where you gotta take uh, one of them tickets, right? Like it's a paper ticket while you're waiting in line, right? If you don't take it, they won't serve you, right? Even though the number that's on the electronic board it can be like 20 or something. And if you take the paper ticket, it says like 655 or something, whatever. It doesn't matter what the number on the, on the ticket is. If they don't see you taking a ticket, they either won't serve you, or it's as if time fucking literally stops. Which, I don't know, from my pers perspective, it, it kinda, it's kind of evidence or proof that we live in a matrix, and uh, it's also evidence and proof of actual fucking NPCs. Because how else would you explain? Look, look at how many ants there are. Uh, how else would you explain what's going on, right? Because there was this one time I went to this stupid cuff place and I didn't take a ticket. I was standing there for fucking more than an hour, right? And um, um, eventually I made my way towards the uh, like right at the counter but because I didn't have a ticket there were like four people who took the ticket who came like 20 minutes after me right after I I arrived uh, at that coffee place and they all like started running towards the fucking counter and then like, you're like kind of scrambling and making noises and we it was weird as fuck like they tried to get in front of me essentially right in the line which is what you would expect because you see it a lot uh, when uh, when people are trying to kind of like I don't know get the first seat on the bus or something as well right or even better when the plane crashes and uh, uh, the pilot says please leave your luggage there 
plane might catch some fire and then maybe the last people won't make it off the airplane alive you know everybody fucking starts uh, scrambling you know to trying to get their luggage you know uh, and typically that actually does the last passengers at the back die because of it simulation we're living in the matrix I mean what more evidence do you do you want right and I guess like whatever you and, and then that's another weird weird one right have you heard the saying that um, uh, people wake up on the wrong foot or whatever right there is the saying like you wake up on the wrong foot or something and it will ruin your day right but something really weird happened to me today uh, it's another one of those matrixy glitchy coincidence whatever things uh, which brings me to the point also that you know your emotional well-being is highly interconnected with the uh, uh, controlled hallucination or simulation in which you live in I had a really nasty and long weird dream which made me feel fucking uneasy and when I woke up it automatically became totally fucking illogical right? right? none of it made sense so I forgot about it but the feeling didn't go away so the feeling stayed the same after I'd waken up it's just the fact that my rational logical part of the brain started working so I wasn't able to actually remember the dream but I was uh, but regardless the feeling stayed so eventually I got rid of the feeling but then I had a memory of that whole thing haunting me and the reason why I'm saying is this is like stupid little things really do affect the the fucking simulation or the matrix a lot which is the main reason you know if you wanna keep yourself safe in the matrix or in the simulation it's as if you can't even think let alone fucking talk let alone let the matrix know what, you, what you're thinking or what you're feeling or what you want to be doing because the matrix will attack it's like a fucking game or something in the sense that whatever you input or output depending on the way you look at it the matrix or the simulation will automatically respond to it by making it either harder or impossible <laughs> because I guess the ultimate purpose of the matrix or the simulation is to get you killed one way or another six million ways to die brothers hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think hit like and subscribe if you haven't and peace